Hi, I'm Courtney Story outside Flatlands Coffee here with your Campus 180. This week was a special one for a local coffee shop. Reporter Angie Rafat went to the big celebration. On Tuesday, Flatland celebrated two years in business. Owners threw a celebration party that went all day for their customers to enjoy. The event had drawings on gift cards, an area to take pictures, and a cake-sized macaroon for the guests to enjoy. Flatlands is famous for the quality of their coffee, and a Flatlands regular, Iman Kadir, says he enjoys what Flatlands has to offer. I moved to, I moved to the States a year and a half ago. I've been coming since. I always, mostly order black coffee, surprise me and every single time it just comes out amazing. A Flatlands barista, who's also a music major, entertained customers throughout the event. Students and families from the Bowling Green area came to Flatlands to celebrate their second year anniversary by enjoying a cup of their freshly brewed coffee. Owner Ben Follomer says he and his wife both love coffee, which inspired them to build a place they could both enjoy. Meeting my wife along the way has added like so much because she's also like into coffee and really honing in on like the interior design like she's really gifted in that and that's what she does. The feel of Flatlands coffee has really become like super positive like when you come here we want you to feel like the most important person on the face of this earth like for a moment. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Angie Rafat. You may have noticed that Bowling Green has been undergoing new construction. Here's an update as to why. Bowling Green began their construction process for four new crosswalks along East Worcester Street. The crosswalks will be east of the Worcester Manville intersection and west of the Falcon Health Center. Two pedestrian crossings with a driveway are being updated. The other two will be across from McFall Center, west of Troop Street, and at the Stroh Center. Construction is set to finish up in early 2018. BGSU freshman Gage Minnie says new crosswalks will help students. I, I think it's always really beneficial, especially when it comes to student safety. It can never be too safe for the students. Saving money is a goal for almost everyone, and it's a goal that's easy to reach, especially with the student ID. Reporter Amy Steigerwald found out there are many hidden discounts that retailers don't advertise. Money is something college students struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. Student loans, stocking up on groceries, and having fun make it tricky to manage finances on a limited budget. BGSU student Andrew Morris is among many who make small changes to save dimes. Try and buy cheap things at the grocery store, like Kroger brand products. Many students overspend because they do not create a budget. Consumer behavior professor Philip Titus says credit cards make this easy. Yeah, I think that they go out and uh, if they have a credit card, it's easy to lose track, right? Uh, and then there's social pressure to use your credit card. Student discounts cut students a financial break. Movie theaters, Amazon, and Spotify are among the popular options that offer student discounts. But not all discounts are high advertised, so many students miss out. I don't really know of any student discount places. I don't even. Hold on, there's student discount places? Restaurants like Waffle House and Buffalo Wild Wings have student discounts at participating locations. So do high-end retailers like J. Crew and Banana Republic. After surveying over 100 students, almost 60% said they are not proactive in seeking student discounts and only ask for it when it's advertised. Zach Carrion is one of those students. I only really do it if they ask for it or it's like uh, they have an actual special that they like advertise or something. Here in BG, popular deals include Beckett's 50 Cent Taco Tuesdays and $5 sandwiches at Mr. Spots on Mondays. Rapid Fire Pizza is a popular growing pizza chain that just opened up in Bowling Green. They offer student discounts on Thursdays. So the next time you're out, instead of reaching for your money, reach first for your student ID and save. For BG24 News, I'm Amy Sargon. The University Activities Organization set up a fitness fest event for students. This event offered stress relief programming, Zumba, and kickboxing. The attendees were motivated throughout snacks and encouragement from the instructors. Mucho also attended the Fitness Fest. 
UAO member Harper Smith explained why she felt this event was beneficial for students. Um, especially because it is free, like not everybody wants to pay for a Group X pass, um, but our student dollars are going towards something that we can participate in, so I think that's really great. The UAO hopes to develop more fitness events in the upcoming semester. Thanks for watching. You can find these stories and more at bgfalconmedia.com.